Welcome to the Art Lady channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to make shapes and this is going to be a step-by-step -step instruction and this is made for young children ages four to six. So we're going to go slow and we're going to practice all of these shapes and look how beautiful they are. This is what you're going to be making today. Shapes are really important. If you can make a shape then you can draw almost anything by putting shapes together. You can also write letters once you learn how to make simple shapes like this. And you can even make words. So shapes are really important in art and in school. Our first shape is going to be a square. So we're going to draw a straight line down. And this is up in this left-hand corner because we're going to fill our page with fun shapes. Now we're going to go over straight across horizontally approximately the same length as this. So we're coming over. Then we're going to drop back down straight. And then we're going to connect the two ends. And there is our square. You can practice making squares later. Now we're going to go on to our next shape, a triangle. And a triangle has three sides. I first start off with a dot at the top and then I drop down and I put another dot on this side, diagonally down. Then I come back to the top, drop back down and put another dot. So I have three dots. Triangles have three sides and three corners. Now I'm just going to connect the dots with a straight line. And there we have a triangle. It's different from a square because a square has four sides and a triangle has three. The next shape we're going to make is a rectangle. And a rectangle is like a square but it's longer. So let's start off with a square or a square top. So we're going to make two dots, connect. Now the long side, it can be either long this way or long this way, but for today we're going to make it long coming down. So a rectangle has four sides like a square, but one side is much longer. So I'm going to come way down, and I'm going to come way down on this side. Notice I'm stopping approximately the same here because these two sides you want to have equal. And then I'm going to come across. And so now I have four sides. Two are the same and two are the same. These two match and these two match. That's a rectangle. The next shape we're going to make is a circle. For the circle, we're going to start with a dot. And then we're going to come out and around. And we're going to stop at a dot down below. So directly below this dot, we're going to put another dot. This is going to be made up of a curved line. So we're going to come out. Well, we're going to practice first in the air out, around, and back to that dot. So let watch me first. Out, around, and back to this dot. It forms almost a letter C. So you do that now. Now we're going to do the other side of this shape. We're going to do the same thing, but instead of coming this way, we're going to go the opposite way. Out, around, and right back to the dot. It's okay if your circle's a little lumpy or bumpy. That's fine. It doesn't have to be a perfect shape. Remember, this is practice, and we'll be practicing these shapes again after we finish the video. The next shape we're going to make is an oval. So for the oval, we're going to start at the top here, put a dot, and we're going to have it come down and around. So for the oval, I'm going to make a curve 
like we would make a circle. It's kind of a rainbow arch. And then I'm gonna come down, down, and then curve up and back. Down and up like a U. So this is a rainbow arch and this forms almost a U shape. If you wanna practice making an oval on the side here, you can too. Just making a C, making it longer. And this is a sideways oval and a curve this way. So an oval is very similar to a circle, except it's elongated. It's a little bit longer. It's almost like somebody sat on it and squished it. See how somebody squished that circle? If you push it down, it expands out. So here we have our basic shapes. We've got triangles, circles, squares, and rectangles. Now there's another kind of a shape. It's called a freeform shape, and it's it's just any wiggly, wavy line, and when a line touches a line, it forms a shape. So this is just a wiggly, wavy, curvy shape. You can't name it, it can't be a circle or a triangle or a rectangle. It's what's called a freeform shape or an organic shape. And those are fun to make too. In school, sometimes we call them blobs because it's just a blob. It doesn't look like a circle, square, or rectangle. Now, I do want to show you how to make some other fancy shapes here. A lot of kids like using these. This one's going to be a heart. So for that, we're going to put a dot. Make sure you have a little bit of room up at the top here. And then drop straight down and put another dot. Now, for one side of the heart, we're going to go up, kind of a rainbow curve. So we're going to come up and down. And we're gonna do a rainbow curve on the other side, up and down. That's the top of our heart. Now we just connect this side straight to the dot and this side straight to the dot. And there we have a heart shape. And the last shape we're gonna do is a diamond shape. If you start off putting a dot, drop down, put another dot. Now in the middle, find the middle, top, bottom, middle, I'm going to jump over this side and put a dot, and then I'm going to jump directly across this side and put a dot. Now we're going to connect straight lines, straight lines, straight lines, and straight lines. A diamond is similar to a square, except it's kind of pulled out or squished. If you kind of turn the square on its side, see that almost looks like a diamond. And if you pull these edges out, it'll form a diamond. There's our diamond shape. Now, what I want you to do is to practice making these shapes on a scrap piece of paper. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the shapes together to form a picture. And then you'll color it in or decorate it any way you want. For example, if you think about what happens if I take a rectangle and put a bunch of them in a row and maybe put a few triangles on top, it could form buildings or a city. So use your imagination. Maybe you take a circle, put some triangles on top, and a triangle in the middle with some circles inside and it could be a little cat face. So you're gonna practice using shapes. And when you draw the shapes, draw them very neatly. Here's my triangle and square. And I can put a rectangle inside for a door. And maybe I want to put an oval over here. This could be the swimming pool or the pond. So you can have fun creating pictures with your shapes. I'm going to put a horizon line back here. And how about some triangles in the background? 
These could be mountains. So I want you to use your imagination and create your own pictures using shapes. <laughs>